Welcome to 5-Minute German Grammar. Thank you for watching. This presentation will introduce indefinite articles in the nominative and accusative cases. You will recall from the presentation on definite articles that the endings of these articles show the gender, case, and number of the noun they modify. You will also recall that the masculine definite article was the only one that changed as it moved from the nominative to the accusative case. These patterns, with a few minor exceptions, can also be found in the indefinite articles. In English, an indefinite article, either a or an, is used when we are talking about a thing in general, not a specific thing. For example, a tree instead of the tree. The nominative indefinite articles are ein, masculine, eine, feminine, and ein, neuter. The masculine and neuter indefinite articles, unlike the definite articles, do not take an ending. This sometimes makes it difficult to determine the gender of the noun they modify. I'm using the negative indefinite article kind for plural nouns in this presentation, as we cannot say a trees, but we can say no trees. As you see here, the plural negative indefinite article in the nominative case is keine. I will discuss negative indefinite articles in a later presentation. The endings for the feminine and plural indefinite articles in the nominative case are e, which is similar to the pattern we saw in definite articles. The accusative indefinite articles are einen, masculine, eine, feminine, ein, neuter, and keine, plural. Again, the feminine and plural indefinite articles follow the definite article pattern and add an e ending. And, as is to be expected, the masculine indefinite article is the only one that changes as it moves from the nominative to accusative, adding an en ending. Unlike the definite article pattern, however, the neuter indefinite article does not take an ending in the accusative case. This sometimes makes it difficult to determine the gender in case of the noun. Let's take a look at a few sentences to explain this a bit more. In the sentence you see here, wo ist ein Tisch, where is a table, it is difficult to know whether the noun is masculine or neuter, since ein does not take an ending. The same thing applies here with wo ist ein Auto, where is a car. In these cases, you simply need to memorize whether the noun is masculine or neuter. By looking at the verb, however, you can guess whether the neuter indefinite article is nominative or accusative. Here, the linking verb indicates that auto is a predicate noun and ein must be in the nominative case. And here, the transitive verb indicates that auto is a direct object and ein must be in the accusative case. Paying attention to verb forms is also important when dealing with feminine and plural indefinite articles. Finally, to distinguish between feminine and plural indefinite articles, you will need to be familiar with plural noun endings. In this sentence, er sieht keine Tür, he sees no door, or he doesn't see a door, the noun does not have a plural ending, but it does receive the action of the verb. In this case, keine would be accused of feminine. However, the noun in this sentence does have a plural ending, which means that keine would be accused of plural. He sees no doors, or he doesn't see any doors. The five-minute German grammar series is produced by David Neville, Associate Professor of German. The video scripts and lecture slides are released under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, share-alike 4.0 international license. Don't be a square. Remix and share.